Hello, my name is Don Wyman of Electronic Design Solutions, and in this video I'm introducing version 4 of my wireless e-paper development kit that brings together fundamental building blocks for a handheld device. This kit bundles together low power operation, lithium ion battery management, wireless connectivity, USB connectivity, e-paper display, all packaged in an off-the-shelf enclosure. The firmware is all written in C, compiled on microchips MP Lab X, and I'm also taking advantage of microchips library for applications. So let's move on, and I'm going to discuss about the components on the board. The project uses a low-power 16-bit microprocessor for microchip. The PIC24 GB106 part is a good choice because of its low power operation and has USB on the go. If encryption is required, the part is footprint compatible with the GB406 part which offers a hardware encryption engine. There are two low power crystals, 8 MHz and 32 kHz. Using the PLL, the 8 MHz clock source is multiplied by 4, providing a 32 MHz system clock. 32 kHz crystal runs the real-time clock calendar function. There are two memory devices. The SRAM buffers the display image, and the non-volatile EEPROM contains the ID, stores operating parameters, and the connection table. Here is the low power mesh radio module. It is footprint compatible with the 800, 900, and 2.4 gigahertz agency certified radios. This radio has an outdoor range of 300 feet. Programming is accomplished through a 1 by 5 100 mil header. The external 20 pin peripheral header connects power input 5 volt power output and GPIO. Through the use of configurable pins, the user has access to USB, I2C, SPI, UART, pulse width modulation, timers, counters, LIN, infrared communications, RS485, and analog to digital converters. The 20 pin 1.27 millimeter microheader allows for connecting to your own custom hardware. There are four ways to power the board. There's a circular connection, USB connection, rechargeable lithium ion battery connection, and a connection for a primary non-rechargeable battery. Pictured here is a connection for the lithium ion battery. To support the rechargeable lithium ion battery, there is a constant current, constant voltage charger, and a battery gas gauge. The charger is limited to 100 milliamps with a float voltage of 4.1 volts. Through both discrete I.O. and I2C connections, battery status is known. Power is regulated with the buck boost set to 3.3 volts. The regulator operates down to 1.8 volts with a quiescent current of 16 microamps. The 5 volt boost supply provides power to the USB host and devices on the breakout board. On the other side of the board is the 1.44 inch EPD display. User defined soft keys are provided to interact with the user interface. The status LED blinks once per second to indicate that the board is operating normally. Shown here is the Bluetooth USB breakout board. Through the 20 pin header, connection is made to the Bluetooth low energy module, USB host and device connectors, input power supply, and external 7 pin GPIO connector. The board is populated with a RN4020 Bluetooth low energy module. Communications are established over UART connection with transmit, receive, clear to send, and request to send. Three status LEDs indicate module and connection status. Power is supplied to the module through regulating 5 volts to 3 volts through an LDO. The USB connections offer either host or device modes. 
The power connector is polarity protected and allows operating from a 5 volt supply. Maximum current is 120 milliamps when the battery is charging. The 7 pin connector provides 5 volt external power and 5 GPIO. Now let's move on to a quick demo to showcase both the radio and the display. Here is a quick demo exercising both the display and the radio. This requires two devices communicating with each other. The coordinator updates the graph with RSSI values seen on the end device. As expected, increasing the separation decreases the RSSI value. In conclusion, this development kit helps the developer by integrating much of the fundamental interfaces allowing the design team to focus on the application. My name is Don Wyman from Electronic Design Solutions and thanks for watching this video.